Hey yo guys, welcome to a, another edition of Listed Top 20 Best. Today's Listed will be the top 20 best tag teams that were thrown together. Now I have a favoritism to tag teams, any tag teams, and I especially like tag teams that are thrown together and that have some success. So anyway guys, let's jump right into the countdown. Team number 20 is the 1-2-3 Kid and Bob Sparkplug Holly. Now, this team is number 20, because first of all, they were together for a bit. I mean, they ran through, were together at the beginning of 95, ran through the WWF Tag Team Title Tournament, won it after by defeating Bam Bam Bigelow and Tatanka, uh, won the belts, but the reason they're 20 because they won the belts last night on Raw to the Smoking Guns. You know, which sucked. I mean, the kid definitely deserved a longer title run, especially in this stage, and I don't know. Uh, they were a dynamic team. I mean, they were the underdog team where they just come out of nowhere and get the win. But anyway, that's why they're at 20. I mean, they were a pretty decent team in the early. At 95, they were decent. All right. So team number 20, the 1-2-3 kid and Bob Holly. Team number 19 is Albert and Test. Now, this team is a decent team because there are two guys who are big and can go. Albert pretty much did carry kind of a low, let's face it, Albert was the better of them in the ring. And, you know, I mean, they had a dope manager in Trish Stratus. Yeah, I mean, come on. And the feuds they did eventually have, I believe, the only one I can really remember was <clears throat> against the Dudley Boys, which I know some vids are on YouTube of, well, mainly of Trish Stratus. But anyway, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. Uh, they're there also because of the, the like, dynamic duo, like, they're just a great power and power combination. I mean, I always liked Albert in tag team action when he was teaming with draws back on, I believe it was Jacked or Heat or something, he would always lose. This was just a good team, I really enjoyed it for a, a brief period of time, kind of ran course. I mean, clearly Trish overshadowed the team, but the team did have some decent matches, let's just put it that way. So team number 19, Albert and Test, or Test and Albert. Team number 18 on our list is Marty Jannetty and the 1-2-3 Kid. Now this is another Cinderella team where they just come out of nowhere and win. I mean, they're on this list because they're thrown together for a day. They're thrown together for a night. Well, first of all, they're, they're on this list because they had good matches together. I mean, that's the success of many tag teams. I mean, the two guys on the team have great matches together, so the chemistry together with them as a team is going to be good. They were together for a match on Raw against the Quebecers for the WWF Tag Team titles. They won it with a sweet finishing move where Gennetti had has you up in a suplex and Kid cross bodies you down, which is pretty sweet. Ah, that's a very inventive move for the early 90s. And anyway, yeah, they won the titles from the Quebecers. Although they did lose them the next, not the next, like later that week, the, the Sunday of that week, they lost them to the back of the Quebecers. I don't know. What, hey, I mean, they're on here because they held a lot of them, the kid and Holly did. So anyway, team number 18 is Marty Gennetti and the 1 2 3 kid. Team number 17 is Big Van Bader and Bam Bam Bigelow. These are the two greatest big men ever. And teaming together was just awesome. I know they teamed in Japan and had some great matches, and they were so over because they were big and fast and agile. I mean, I, it's unfair that I put them on here considering I've never seen a match from them, but I can just imagine what they would be like in the ring. I mean, they're both the masters of moonsaults and power bombs and stuff like So, oh my god, great tag team there. I uh, really kind of wish I did see them, but whatever. So team number 17 is Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow. Team number 16 is the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. I will tell you why. These in the early, in the mid were the ultimate heel team. Why? Because they could get the fans drawing on so much just from their backgrounds. And I mean, I like I, Great in the ring. I mean, Sheik was clearly the one that carried the team. But I mean, their manager, Fred Blasio, was a great mouthpiece for them. I mean, Sheik would piss the fans off by saying, Iran number one. Russia number one. Volkov sing and yeah, I mean, hey, they won the tag team titles in the very first WrestleMania. I mean, that's a huge accomplishment. Let's just put it that way. So, Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. Well, although I know they hate each other now, but you know, they're a great team, great heel heat, and good in the ring. So, I had a good feud with the U.S. Express. So anyway, team number sixteen, Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. Team number fifteen. 
Kane and X-Pac. Now this team was together for a bit of time. I mean, they're the co good combination of quick, speed, and agility, and the power aspect in Kane. It was a great team. I mean, it was stupid. I didn't like how they made Kane talk during this and stuff, but hey, it was a good team. Uh, of course, they eventually broke up once DX was reborn, and I hate DX, by the way. I hated that, how they kind of broke the team up, but it led to a decent feud after that with Kane and Xbox, but other than that, I really wish they would have been together a lot longer, but hey, they had uh, some good... I can't remember who they won the titles off of at the moment, but hey, team number 15 is Kane and Xbox. Team number 14 on our list is Rey Mysterio and Edge. Now, this is another good team, but, I mean, Edge is more of the power of the team, but he can fly quick around the ring. I mean, they were the second SmackDown Tag Team Champions. That's a decent accomplishment. But, I mean, Mysterio would be your fly. I mean, they could have so many good matches with people. I mean, their feud with Angle and Benoit was awesome. I mean, that was just dope. You, you know what I'm saying, people. The matches they had on there... Amazing. Uh, I didn't like how they lost the titles at Survivor Series. I didn't like how they lost it there, but hey, you know, it was fun while it lasted, and it was great to see them work together. They had some great chemistry and stuff. I, I remember Mysterio. Oh, fuck, I can't. No, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah. Anyway, team number 14, Rey Mysterio and Edge. Team number 13 is Owen Hart and Yokozuna. Now, this team is on here because they failed Yoko Zunin's his partner. It was sweet because we hadn't seen Yoko since uh, November 94 after he lost that casket match. And I was like, oh my god, Yoko's back. And Owen Hart and Yoko Zuna and the Smoking Guns is the best match, in my opinion, on WrestleMania 11. There's so many great aspects to that. And, I mean, the way they just ran through the tag team division in 95 was pretty impressive. I enjoyed it. Uh... I like how they would like pretty much make Owen set you up with like an Enziger and Yoko with Bonsai drop you. I mean, Yoko is getting bigger at this time. He can still move quickly, but other than that, it was great. Hey, they held the titles pretty much most of 95 from April to, I would say, they lost them like June. They held it for a good period of time. So team number 13, Owen Hart and Yoko Zoot. Team number 12, show. you know, you're two big power guys. I mean, didn't like how they got the belts, but hey, you know... They put a decent match opener on Mania 22. So, you know, they're on here just because of that. And I don't know really why I put them on here. Just they're a good tag team together, I mean. They had good matches together, so it's that scenario. They had good matches together. They're going to have great chemistry as a team. Team number 12 is Kane and the Big Show. Team number 11 before the break will be Stone Cold Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels. These two are the original, let's be we'll make them tag champions, and then they're going to have a match. Now, granted, it wasn't for a world title, but in my opinion, these are the two f people that did this first. Because if you remember, Austin and HBK were thrown together on a Raw before King of the Ring. They beat Owen Hart and the British Bulldog for the titles, had their match at King of the Ring, you know, which was obviously ended in a run-in. But sorry for spoiling that if you haven't seen that match. But yeah, I mean, they're two good Texas guys, so they had a good chemistry together. It, teaming together, so you know it would be good, and it pretty much was a prequel to what was going to happen at Mania 14. You never know. Anyway, guys, that's part 120 uh, best tag teams thrown together, so I'll see you in a minute.